Good afternoon folks um, if you remember last time we were um, on here I was talking to you about platforms so what I've decided I'm going to try and do is to make a video that gives you an idea of how I throw things together probably the right word actually because they are thrown together so yeah so I want to try and talk you through bit by bit um, give you an idea of how I just chuck it together so you've seen this last time this is the one with the the platform ends on now obviously let me just move that along on the railway this is where the platform house will sit and then here can you see that here you can here is where the platform is going to run off and what I realized today was that that won't go in is that when I put that platform on you would have had show you you would have had a gap down there and um, if you look you can maybe yeah you can you can see the light coming through behind that area there and that was because the ramp runs like that um, and I didn't like that because I thought it's just somewhere to fall off in the real world so what we've done is we cut some plastic card shaped it to run with that cut at the end um, I've had to I'll show you in a minute <laughs> I've had to cut the, bit, the, the ramps to, apart a little bit and what will happen is that this will sit like that and then we'll have a curved fence coming all the way up here let me get this in shot and then across to there and across round there so people don't fall off but to enable me to get this in I've had to do that I don't know where this comes out, it's really awkward when you look upside down. I'm going to cut that section out to allow this to fit in. So it looks a little butchered, I know. <coughs> <coughs> and likewise, I've had to cut this little slot out here so that this can slide in like that. I got this in shot, I hope I cut it up, yeah. So the little cutout was to fit under that ramp, so that kind of tidies that up and makes that more of a ramp type access if you want it to be. So we've done that on both ends, um, as you can see, and again, you can see there we've had to butcher the little daylights out of this. Um, we had a big hole there. So we've just backed it with some of this stuff and I'm going to get filler out now, fill all this joint, settle these joints down here, fill all these holes because I won't be needing them and then I can get that sprayed up. So that's that one. Oh, oh. oh that's what you get for using the super glue. Hello well, me folks, I've just found out that some of the put down has glued itself to everything except where I wanted it to do. So your next picture is going to be a bit fluffy. And don't worry. So, you remember this. Wait till I get, it, get this out of the way. You remember this, my supposed cattle dock. So what we've done is, down here, we've got a joint there, we've got a joint over here. And all I've done is I've just glued them together on the lip which isn't very strong it would have a tendency to want to for this to want to break down over so as you can see what I've done is across the front I put some one half mil card to act as a strengthener and if I turn it over I hope you can see that can you can't you in there you can see there's a gap and there's a gap in there also sorry gap in there also. Uh, I took the fencing off while I worked on it um, that was the subway with the surround and what have you. All I've done is I've made a little tab here sorry folks let me just adjust this camera I seem to find I think the camera's dropping a little bit 
yeah so I've made a little tab here and I've glued it to the bottom of the stairs and to the sides and it's an L shape so it goes up and sits under that so as you can see look nice and solid all I've got to do is fill that fill all the holes fill the joints and then on this ramp what I found was that it actually doesn't sit on the floor as much as I thought it would so I put these side pieces on here and I put that piece on there and what I'm going to do is I'll scribe a line if I can get this in the shot I'll scribe a line diagonally across and then trim this and then I'll cut that piece accordingly and so on and so forth if I put that on the deck there um, you can see that I can put my pencil under there so it's still got a weight it's got a quite a weight to come down yet so that really other than trimming these up and <laughs> in case you're wondering there's the bit that's stuck um, I put it to one side for this to dry off and the glue's run down and stuck itself to a towel so anyway I'm going to trim them sh shortly fill this and get that and that one can join the other one and it's ready to go right so what else have we done oh we've done these it's not a lot but if you remember on the, on the big platform um i wanted to put these on and i needed a platform to sit them on at the back and last video there was two of them i hadn't done so i've just cut the sides off these i'll trim the sides on the main platform in a minute and then we'll get these glued on and then those platforms are just waiting to be filled in and then it's another one that I can get to spray painting and then the next one you remember this let me get it in the shot I have got a little tripod coming tomorrow folks to sit on my desk so that I'm not in the way and I can see what the hell I'm doing while I'm videoing anyway you remember this two Hornby stations the main station and that normally sits on it somewhere and a little waiting room type thing so as you can see they're now glued together and I talked about putting this on there and I decided that was far too easy doing that so you can see it's going to sit half and half because I am going to reface all of this I hate this screen printing um, so what we'll do is we'll bring my new stuff down to this level and then obviously the same on the sides let me see if you can see this on the sides in there we need to bring it down and we'll put a cover over the roof and we'll change the cover so it runs all the way over so that will then leave us with I'll probably put a chimney there and I'll probably put one there but I more than likely won't bother here door wise I have made a mistake and I've got to admit it I was in trying to do too many things them doors should have been at that side and I forgot but hey ho oh no it doesn't matter I can leave them I can leave them it doesn't matter and I preferred it anyway so we're going to screen cover all the screen print up new rules new rules screen cover that up we'll put we'll see if we can clean this up <coughs> and put some glass in where we can those i'm probably going to board over on the basis of that they were more than likely boarded over a long time ago so not obviously plywood boarded over but they will match whatever this is so yeah so that's the bit we're on with there so I'm going to switch, switch off now for a bit try and get a little bit more done and then I'll come back to you see you in a bit in the last video um, when I was talking about stations and platforms and what have you we uh, had a little discussion about what I was planning to do and what have you so as usual not had a lot of time work and everything else takes over so where have we got to right you remember this this was going to be my uh cattle dock whatever you want to call it um <coughs> as you can see fencing has changed i was using that hornby 
elevated track stuff and it's a pig to get it to glue to anything so in a fit of temper it all got ripped off when I knocked a piece off three times in a row and I've gone to this which I think is old Pico station walling so we've put that to use we've got one of these which is stuck to the wet paint and um, that's going to be a little sort of cabin and what have you somewhere for the guys to get warm and yes you can see what they are I did have some gates made but they were in the other stuff to match the wall in um, and I couldn't be bothered to make any more so I had these uh, surplus to requirement so all I've done is you can tell cut them down reattach the end piece and I kind of thought well at the end of the day you know if it's a, if it's a um, <coughs> a good yard and they were trying to save money and they wanted gates would they use an old pair maybe who knows who cares just what I decided was going on there at the time so as you can see it's now now being filled and sanded so that it's not all the separate sections that you saw in the video um, so that one's all primed up now it's ready for final coat to paint and I've bought some accessories like sheeps and hay bales and stuff like that to go on there so we'll get that done so that's that one and then sitting up here are the four platforms that I was mentioning before um, they've all now got fences on albeit that part there and one of the others on the side still need that bit of fencing but thanks to Hattons um, oh I think I ordered from on pretty sure it was Saturday um, they've arrived today so I can get them on but these four platforms once I put them on and spray those bits of fencing primer are ready now to be painted up brick patterned on the bottom um, and start doing all the other bits and pieces um, one of the little auction the other, other day on eBay um, can I put my hands on it hang on folks bear with me because as usual I decided to do this video and not be prepared so this was my haul some seats some milk chains go on my good yard some more seats because my platforms are really long there's my sheep for my cattle dock um, some chocolate machines I remember them when I was a kid stood on Middlesbrough platform going to whip you on the train and buy you in bar 6 I think they called it so all of you that are as old or older than me or watching this please comment and tell me if I got that right was it called bar 6 um, there was also dairy crunch which you can still get today anyway I digress um, what else did we get? Um, weighing machines got those as well and packing cases and this was in a box I took it out because it was way too bulky to go in this little tin but as you can see by then it's a news agent stand now as I say this was in a box and all of these as you can see are brand new never been opened and I'm just talking about the people stuff here nothing else so I got all of those brand spanking new still in the boxes on eBay seven quid can't complain at that really can you I know this stuff isn't expensive but they cost me more than seven quid those believe it or not I actually paid full price um, can't remember where I ordered them from I think it was eBay um, but it wasn't an auction he was just selling them and I didn't want to overrun my cattle dock with cattle didn't want it to be too silly but I got enough for the time being so let me just put this to one side and there's my Hatton's purchase thank you Hatton's you were really really fast um, you get one two three you get six straights and then obviously the two ramp bits as well eight quid 
I couldn't get them on eBay cheap than that. I tried. Um, there was a guy wanting 20 quid for probably about the same amount. I thought, well, I might as well buy them brand new. So it's rare that I do it, but at 8 quid happens. That was good, and I was impressed. I only really need two pieces of this, but you know what I'm like. I like to faff about, and I like to come up with other stuff, so somewhere this extra fencing I've bought, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but at some point it's probably going to get used. So that was Hatton's to help me finish, and then just so you can see them, there's my hair bells. Um, I think they look like mini wheat pixels, the little ones on the end, but they're actually they're quite good, I think they're quite realistic. Uh, a lot of the hair bells I look for were just lumps of plastic that look crap. Um, I like these because they had that authentic kind of colour and all of them look like Weetabix or Mini Weetabix. I thought they looked quite good and I think if you just, you know, I don't know, someone somewhere is going to say there wouldn't be hair bells on there. Well, probably not, no, but it's my layout. So I can have what I want when I want, how I like. But yeah, I just thought daft little things like that, you know, and that, and a few sheep, and a few blokes with sticks that look like shepherds. That aren't shepherds, I haven't bought them. They're just people with sticks that I've bought in a box of a hundred people from Japan or some place. So yeah, so I've done absolutely naff all with that since you last saw it, although I have bought a lot of the stuff that you've just seen will be used on there. Um, happy with that. Like I say, just wanted brick papers along here, as does that. Um, done all of those, so if I pick one up, just try and place it down somewhere. Move them out the way. So if you remember, let me just turn that on. My last conversation was that this is obviously the end. You're going to have that there and over here we're going to have one, two of them overhead canopies like these. And then from this point I've got them big overhead arch ones which run along there then at the end of that you've got two platform length station house and then another one two three another four at the other end there and we've got that on both sides because these are going to be my main platforms so when they're at this stage they're ready to start putting together now um, I think the last time you saw this it was uh, a bunch of bits of platforms kind of like glued together with maybe a bit of filler on and what have you but as you can see it's ready now so what we did was <laughs> there's a platform going to come off here all the way along so what I've done is I'll just turn that you'll see um, the idea being is that a piece of platform will come straight along this way so this here sits against the sides of the platform at this end if you're wondering what that weird cutout is for that's to allow the part of the platform that needs to sit in there to fit and then eventually it will travel I put it this way on it sits in there and as it comes out rides over the top but this touches the platform so that technically anybody walking up can't fall off so we've got the station at the back and we've got all the fencing on and we've got the basic so that's going to be this side will be the main part main station building of the main station and then if you remember we had this which is two Hornby stuff um, well I think one's a station room and one's a waiting room um, this normally goes in the middle of this somewhere um, and I, I was talking about putting it on here at an end or maybe putting it on this and none of it looked right so I decided to stick it here and my wife and her husband at Wisdom said but there's a gap there <laughs> yes there is 
there's a gap there for the minute because obviously I'm going to recover these I hate this screen printing stuff I cut that because I was coughing um, I hate this screen printing stuff so it's all going to get covered up and obviously that will drop down onto the roof and as I said I will get rid of some of these windows and some of the doors I don't need all of them but I think that that looks quite imposing as a building and by the time you run the arches across it as well and I fill the platforms full of people and seats and you know various bits and pieces the one thing I do need to get hold of is some of those little electric carts um, if you bear with me I'll show you what I mean one of them fellas, some of them fellas there uh, that used to whiz up and down the platforms this is the station that was absolutely in bits when I got it and as I said there's a link will be on the end here to take you to that video if you never saw it about how I put it back together so that'll be the opposite side of the platform that station there is the one that you've already seen which is my terminus building so anyway um, I wasn't planning putting on this video on until I got a bit further down the line but it's taken me time to get in and find the time to do bits and pieces and I'm very aware that I've had quite a few new subscribers as well um, I'm now at 139 so I sat there and thought I really need to go and put a video on because otherwise people subscribing to a channel that's not doing anything um, so yeah I do feel a little bit you know I need to do something um, but anyway I put this on just so you can see what I'm at where I'm doing where I'm heading with it and I will try but work is absolutely ridiculous at the moment um, I have most of my guys working seven days a week and have done since before Christmas um, you know and trying to run two businesses with all your staff and deal with your own stuff and your children and trying to have a life something has to give somewhere um, and unfortunately this is the part that's given so I had a go at it on Sunday afternoon managed to get the stage I'm at now so all of you that subscribed recently a big thank you to me thank you very much for looking at the channel thank you for clicking on that button and subscribing um, I hope you enjoy what I see look over the old videos see if there's anything in particular that you like the look of if you've got any questions please ask um, the other important thing is as well is to say thank you for all the subscribers who have been with me for a while I appreciate you keeping an eye on my channel and watching my videos and passing the comments that you do everything is greatly appreciated um, I do this it's a hobby I enjoy it it's fun I really like getting into this stuff um, and I put the videos on for no other reason to show you what I'm doing um, you know and I like to see what people have to say um, but more than anything I like people to come forward with comments so if anyone has any comments about all the things you've seen and what I'm working on please feel free say something suggest something or even suggest something I could try now if you suggest something I could try and do then I'll give it a shot but I really want to get these platforms finished um, they've been hanging about for a bit now um, so I'd like to get these out of the way but yeah if somebody wants to come to me and say well can you do this can you do that I'll give it a go definitely 100% give it a go I mean you know that thing there was because I had bits left over and thought well I'm not throwing them away what can I do with them so that's why that thing came about but anyway enough of me prattling on thanks to everybody thanks to all the new ones thanks to all the old ones and I don't mean that by age and um, I'll catch you all in a bit ta-da now